What is going on? Happy people everywhere. Today is a great day. As you all know, uh, JD Ross and all the guys down at Karma Customs just completely rebuilt the Rambo. I mean, they took it from this to this. And now I'm here at Outboard Specialties in uh, Pompano Beach, Florida, and they're fixing to put a brand new motor on it. All I can tell y'all is, it's a happy day. What's your name, man? Israel, Israel. Hey, Israel, how you doing? I'm doing good, how you doing, sir? Doing good, good play, I'm super happy to be here. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is, is lay the dash out, get an idea where the steering's gonna go, the controls, the gauges, um, the batteries on the inside, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, then we'll get a template on the transom, get that drilled, get the motor hung, and then marry it all up. How do you think a 300 will push this boat? Great. Yeah? Yeah, the boat's gonna be fun. Uh, loaded down, it'll still get up and, and go. Um, Efficiency is going to be off the charts. Uh, we're probably expecting somewhere th around three miles to the gallon. That's amazing. This is the fun part. Getting all the steering, all the cables, getting everything put into the boat. This is pretty much all the little brains and just components that you know, feed everything to run it. I. Money's worth out of that bitch. <laughs> All right. Coming together, y'all. Check this out. All right, should be good. Let's clean up. See this cable right here? That runs the whole motor. So everything that we have going on up here is transmitted by wire to the motor. So whether you're tilting it, turning it on, throttle, forward, reverse, everything. Right there. Much easier. Simplified. You've got to be like an advanced ninja forklift operator around here. Should be about right. You listen to that from now on. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dear Me for Dinner. Subscribe now. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. Oh, right here. It's cool to be a part of this, you know, typically, you know, you drop your boat off, come back and it's done, but it's exciting for me to be a part of this because I like being a part of stuff like this. Hey Gabe, shout out. These are the batteries I actually bought for your boat, but they've become part of the gut bucket. Left with something, you know, a little... This is literally so cool watching the boat come together. I Solid as a rock, built like a fortress. Suzuki outboards. What we're trying to do is find the center of the line, pretty much any boat, you're starting from fresh. Your goal is just to find the exact center. Um, so what we've done is put two sticks, so you know, that's sticking out far enough where measured from each side. Then I'll do a straight line down. This will be your template. You find the middle of what these two little arrows are, and these four holes are gonna be your mountain holes.
All we've got to do is take the, the stuff that comes with the motor, which we're not going to be using. The, they, they give you actual power wire and um, fuel line and stuff, but we're going to be using our own stuff that we already rigged up. Uh, I'll take that off, hook all our stuff up, and you'll be good to go. And now the reason that we're using our power and ground is their stuff that it comes with is so short. We don't want any unions down there or butt connectors or heat shrink. We just ran our stuff straight from the battery switch, which is going to be under the console, and it's going to go straight to the motor, so there's no you know, reasons for something to get green or nasty or funky or serviceable or nothing like that. There's nothing you gotta worry about. Once we simulate how it's gonna work, you can kind of adjust these, pull it in or pull it out, make a nice little loop for you so nothing gets tangled up or kinked. With most boats, we're, you want to find out the best placement for the batteries as far as where the battery switch is going to be. You want good access to everything. You also want to be able to utilize your console or wherever you're putting your batteries as well. You know, you don't want to break right here, which is good because you got access to them, but now you can't put your life jackets and tackle boxes and, you know, things like that. So we're going to lay these out and just kind of simulate where they're going to go and zip them on down. I'm trying to put everything together out here and then just put it up in there so I'm not sitting in there for a half hour. Yeah, here, come on. So we gotta wire up all that stuff. I'm not gonna do that without him. And change the Houston, go to the other line. Everything seems to be pretty tight. We'll lock it up and make sure it's going the right direction, no leaks, and uh, just confirm everything's good to go. Make sure everything's nice and clean, nothing's rubbing or scraping, what have you. That little tapered end goes in first. I think we're close. You ready for the water tomorrow? Hey, you guys ever wonder what I look like when I'm on cloud nine? Just like this. There is the boat. Very seldom am I totally short of words, but I don't have words right now. The Rambo is ready to rock. Check this out. I could not be any happier. The keys to success here were Mike Lund, the fellow who, who I've been dealing with here from getting the motor to setting it up, has been so upfront and straight up with me. I've spent a fortune getting this boat ready, but now it's ready. All I've got to do is put electronics on it. Mike told me, hey, we can take you in a week. I showed up, they were ready. He said it's gonna take five days. It actually took three days. Just in case y'all were wondering, the boat is rolling. I am literally beyond the point of words right now. What was just an idea. Everyone thought this boat was going to the junkyard. Now it looks like a brand new boat. Yeah, man. Everywhere you look, it's a Suzuki. And so whenever I sat down with them at the boat show, I got a six year warranty. The price was awesome. And whenever I asked Outboard Specialties what they could do, they were straight up. And every single thing happened exactly as they said it would. And to me, that's worth everything. All right, here we go. We're gonna go a little easy on this first run. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, this time we're gonna go for wide open RPMs. That was insane. I actually had to put the camera down. We were going so fast. I've never been so fast in this boat. Full on amazing. We're gonna put it back on the trailer. I'm taking it home and I'm putting Sarah and the girls on it. We're going for a ride. You guys, to say I am excited is an understatement. I gotta give mad props to everybody at Up Karma Customs in Melbourne. They did an amazing job. And if you're looking for any kind of boat work to be done, 
They're awesome. When it comes to the Suzuki, I met Mike Lund, came to an agreement. They did everything they said they were gonna do and even more. Just, I can't give these people any higher of a recommendation. Just all around good people. 